One of the key skills you will need as a bricklayer is to be able to lay bricks to a line. In fact, many of your jobs as a bricklayer will be based on this skill. To lay bricks to line, you first need the corners of the wall to be built. These should be in the correct position for the final wall. Once this has been done, a string line should be set up between these corners. This string line should run level with the height of the first course of bricks to give you a guide to work to. The pin at the end of the line is then inserted into the perp joint. You can also use a corner block attached to the corner of the wall instead. Draw the line as tight as possible, making sure not to pull out the pin at either end. You're now ready to start laying a course of bricks. Using a trowel, roll the mortar and place it on the wall in position to take the next brick. You should aim to spread the mortar to an even joint size to give consistency to the build. Pick up the new brick and check it for any visible damage. Then apply mortar for the perp joint, spreading the mortar evenly on the end of the brick and removing any surplus as necessary. Place the brick onto the wall in the correct position, making sure that it doesn't touch the line. Tap down on the brick until the top edge is level with the top of the line. You also need to make sure that the entire length of the brick is level and that the perp joints are plumb. This will stop the build from becoming uneven. Now make sure that the bottom of the brick lines up with the top edge of the brick below. Any excess mortar hanging over the edge of the wall should then be removed with the trowel. Make sure to set the trowel at an angle to avoid smearing the bricks below. Again, use the trowel to remove excess mortar from the back of the brick just laid. To build the rest of the wall, simply repeat this technique for the rest of the course, moving the line up to complete the next course as you go. Once you've done so, you can use the same process to complete the next course up, and so on until the wall is built. If the wall you're working on is quite long, there's a chance the line could sag in the middle. In this case, you would use a tingle plate in the centre of the wall. This is a small steel plate that holds the line upright and in place. To place a tingle plate, a brick should first be laid in the centre of the wall, making sure it's to gauge, level and plumb. Place the tingle plate on top of the laid brick in the centre and insert the line through the plate. The line should just touch the brick. Place a dry brick on top of the tingle plate to weigh it down and therefore stop any movement in the line. You're now ready to lay the bricks for this course to line. After that, the process is exactly the same as for that of a shorter wall.